Okay, so the last option we'll talk about here on advanced inventory is barcode scanning. So we'll go to company preferences, we'll click on advanced inventory settings. We're going to click on barcodes and then we'll click here which says enable barcode scanning. And then right before I hit OK, I'm going to click on open barcode wizard. I strongly recommend that you go through the wizard because it does walk you through a couple of of really interesting features. One says, all right, do you already have your barcodes in QuickBooks? And then you can say, no, they're not in QuickBooks. Yes, they're actually inside of my custom field or they're inside of my manufacturer's part number, okay? So I'll just give you a quick example here before I enable these. Let's say, for example, that I happen to already be tracking my barcodes and I'm using a custom field. So I'm gonna go here into custom fields and I'll create a field called barcode because some people actually they've been tracking their barcodes in QuickBooks but not necessarily using them okay so what they end up doing is they actually start putting some numbers here on each item so some people do have this already in their QuickBooks file uh, they already have their barcodes in here or maybe they have a spreadsheet uh, with all the barcodes and we can go into add edit multiple line list entries and we can select here inventory parts uh, we can click on customize columns and we can just load those into that custom field called barcode and that would be a really good best practice if you are going to implement barcodes then you can basically uh, copy and paste all your barcodes if you happen to already have them in another spreadsheet you can copy and paste these, see? You can copy and paste these and save them. And then when we go save or enable our barcode, it's going to grab all those codes and make that the official barcode. So let me show you how that will work. So I'm gonna go to edit preferences, go to company preferences, advanced inventory settings, go into barcodes, enable barcodes, open barcode wizard, I'm going to say, yes, I already have them in a custom field called barcodes. So that could be a way you can quickly implement barcodes by having them already in your, in your item list. So I hit next. And then it says, which items are going to use barcodes? Let's say it's only going to be inventory items. And then we'll click next. And then we'll click finish. And OK. And OK. And you let QuickBooks do its work. Um, it's going to take those barcodes, bring them in. Um, if there's an error, it'll tell you, you know, how many of them will have an error just because maybe the, the code is too short or something like that. Um, it will let you know. And then it will generate barcodes for every single one that doesn't have one. So I'll show you what that, what that looks like. So I'm going to go into the list menu and click item list. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into one of these items here. And you will notice here that this barcode was imported. That's the same barcode that came from this uh, barcode custom field. So notice that one came in just fine. And then I'm gonna go to another one here and that one came in just fine as well. Let's just go into one that I didn't bring in. And notice that QuickBooks will create one. And the way you'll know that QuickBooks created one is because it added QB column space. So you'll know that if it's got QB column space, that means QuickBooks just randomly created a, bar a barcode for it. And, and, and some people say, wait, that's crazy. Um, I don't I don't want a bar random barcode. Well, QuickBooks has to give it a barcode of some sort. If your product already has a barcode, all you have to do is come in here, erase this, use your barcode scanner, scan the new one, and it will be replaced. So that's fine. It's not a big deal. But why does QuickBooks create barcodes for it? Because you can actually print barcodes for items that don't already have barcodes in them. So if I go to File, and I go to Print Forms, and I click labels. It's kind of a cool hidden feature here. And then I'm going to go into item barcodes and then I'll pick here all my inventory parts. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll hit preview just to show you. So QuickBooks will actually print uh, a barcode for every single item, whether it was a made up barcode from QuickBooks or the one that we explicitly, explicitly put in there. Now that's on a eight and a half by 11 sheet. Um, starting QuickBooks 2016, you can actually print on label printers. So if you actually have a label printer 
um, that has any sort of that thermal rolling paper uh, that can do the barcode, the barcode labels. You can also do that. So you can have you know any any almost pretty much any size of a of a label printer, and you can also print those as well. I hit previous to show you. That's what this will look like. So there will be one barcode to a page. Okay, it doesn't look really well now just because of the 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 resolution of the screen but these actually print on little tiny labels okay and depends on what size label you have you have a, you have a bigger label like this one you do a preview you will notice this will actually print a lot bigger like that so these print on actual on actual labels on actual label uh, paper perfect so that's kind of the purpose of having uh, barcodes and again as i mentioned it i can use barcodes on any uh any transaction so if i'm on an invoice here and I actually don't type an item code and I just scan the product, uh, QuickBooks will automatically select the item for you based on what you scan. And if you scan it two, three, four, five times, it will actually up the quantity for you. So from that perspective, it's actually pretty neat. Um, but that's really all the basic barcode functionality that it has.